Hello everybody, it is All Night it is Brewing Time and welcome to another reaction. Uh, today we will be reacting to OP Season 7, Episode 16, yes, uh, Campfire Tales, I think. Oh my gosh, um, guys are probably wondering where the heck my reaction to Episode 15 is. It got interrupted and... Uh, I've been debating about uploading it the entire week and had decided, unfortunately, not to upload it because the interruption was just too big of an interruption and it made the react, it ruined the reaction. So, um, that is why it is not uploaded and I probably will have to return to it at a later date. For it in the future when I begin to forget some things, but we're going to continue on reacting to the season, so none of these episodes will be added to the playlist until I get back to episode 15 because I want to keep things in order. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into this one. Oh, they're going camping! Oh my god, what episode was that from s- Oh! Oh my gosh, that was the last episode that they did camping. Yeah, because that's what we need camping. Tree lights. Tree lights. Berries look good enough to eat. Don't! According to my book, they're extremely poisonous! <sighs> well, Rainbow Dash almost died. Yes, I want to remember what the name of that episode is. Ah, that's adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can they not? Come on. Oh my god. Oh no. It's not fucking opening. Ah, come on. Ah. This is why I can't use daily motion. Gliders, wow. Spider flies. Luna Bay area? Best wait here until what the heck is that? What are we supposed to do now? That's a new one. That's not entirely true. We have each other. That's right. And if you girls want to, maybe we could tell some stories to pass the time. You want stories? I've got a ton of stories. Spoiler alert, they're all about me and how awesome I am. I was thinking more 
<laughs> oh, that ego still comes through. Oh my god. We aren't gonna tell scary stories like our last camping trip, are we? It's bad enough just being in here. Don't worry, Scootaloo. I was gonna tell you mine and Apple Bloom's favorite legend. Oh, you mean Rock Hook? I love that one. It was so strong and when he Apple Bloom? Shh, we haven't heard it yet. Okay. Hope okay. this call campfire tales. Rock Hook was known far and wide for his incredible strength. But he didn't start out that way. You see, Rock Hook was a tiny little fellow, the son of a farmer, just like us. Of course. <laughs> they lived in a village that sat at the foot of a gigantic. They were farmers just like us. They were about as southern a stereotype as you can get. The village was protected by an elite group of guards called the Mighty Hell. I don't think countries existed back in the Middle Ages. But he sucked. <laughs> Kill yourself, no. Oh my gosh. But Rock Hook wouldn't take no for an answer. The Vikings were s Swedish? I think they were. One fateful day. Oh no! This is my favorite part. What happened next? Rarity's just like poured down the side of the volcano. And try as they might, the mighty hound couldn't figure out a way to save the village. They had to evacuate, but the village ponies didn't want to leave their homes. They spent their entire lives there. They had nowhere else to go. So Rock Hook decided to do something crazy. Vikings were not southern. This is getting in the way. I'd still hold up on this. He started digging a trench. Wait a minute. All by himself? It'd be impossible for one pony to dig a trench fast enough to stop the lava. Even I couldn't do that. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's, it's, uh, it's impossible. Completely. Hey, it was magic. Oh my god. Story, no matter how many times I hear it, why don't we see if it's safe to head back to camp? Uh, girls? There is no camp to go back to. And, uh, let's see, it's gonna get so copyrighted, isn't it? I'm already fighting one dispute. Uh, what the heck? Sweetie Belle, have I ever told you about my favorite legend? No! Legend? Okay. Maybe it'll be more believable than uh, Applejack's. Oh my gosh. Isn't she the old wrinkly sorceress with the flower? 
Yes, but did you know she used to be the most beautiful unicorn in all the land? No. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, no. Young she was as talented as she was beautiful and kind. Everybody loved her. Oh, no. <laughs> Polo Mare's design with an alicorn horn. While she was gone, she was delighted to find out that her best <sighs> friend, Sable Spirit, was crowned empress. She couldn't wait to return home once she finished her studies. But once she arrived, she was devastated by what she saw. Her friend ruined it? What happened here? The Empress happened. She makes every pony work day and night on her palace. We don't have time to take care of anything else. Well, that can't be. I know her. She would never do this. But there was no denying what was in front of her. Sable Spirit took everything that was beautiful away from any pony else. And this made wow. sure there had to be some explanation. I'd assume there was too. If some pony told me either one of you two had gone evil, yeah, I'd never believe it. I don't know. I've seen the way you two get when you miss breakfast. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'd want answers too. So did Miss May. She went to confront her friend. How in the heck does she do that? You know what? We had to hit ponies playing piano, guitar, and now making shadow puppets. Tell me you don't recognize your old friend. I don't. My friend would never work our families and friends to the bone for something as silly as a palace. Silly? My palace is a beautiful And I am rarity now. What a pretty palace if it just hides the misery of its ponies. Beauty is everything. You taught me that. What? You were always the pretty one. You got to go to the best magic. <laughs> oh God, jealousy! Every pony, Every pony loved you. I admit I was jealous. So I tried to perform a spell that would make me beautiful. You can see how that went. <gasps> oh wow! I if I couldn't have beauty, I would take it. I wasn't chosen to be empress, you know. I took it! Just like I'm going to take everything else. I can't let you do that. Let me? This is very Chinese. Every pony thought Sable Spirit was defeated, and that was that. But Miss May knew there was more she could do to help. Beauty isn't everything. But Miss May knew that it does have the power to make Pony smile. She made a huge sacrifice to bring that smile back to her friends and family's faces. Including Sable Spirit. <sighs> you did this for me? Even after I was so Okay, that was way too fast. Sable Spirit was so touched that she vowed to be more like her friend in the ways that mattered. From then on, she ruled with kindness and compassion. That was a little quick. <laughs> Even though she gave away her physical beauty, she dedicated her life to spreading beauty all over Equestria. Anytime you go out of your way to brighten some pony's day by doing something like giving them flowers, you're following in the hoofsteps of Mist Mane. 
I think she's my favorite legend too. Shoot. We'll trap ourselves in here. What? Now those boats can't get in. But now we can't get out. Jeez. You're focusing on the wrong things. Do you have a plan? Close. I have a story. Let me guess. It's about you. Practically. It's about my favorite legend. <laughs> Megs. Wasn't he the pony in the wow. dragons? Dragons? Big scary mean ones are like Spike. Oh, these were definitely the big scary mean kind. <laughs> <laughs> Too scary. You can sit closer to me if you want. That's adorable. Before the Wonderbolts were even founded, Flash Magnus was a lowly cadet in the Royal Legion. And now we're doing the Roman Empire. We did Vikings, Chinese, and now China. Whatever. And now we're doing Rome. <laughs> Hello, uh, Dragon Lord. Did he just die? Okay, I was about to say, did they like eat them? Your loyalty, Flash Magnus, but getting past those Flash is going to be impossible. Magnus. Nothing will work. All these names. Was you can't out bad dragons, but you can outthink them. Commander Ironhead, I'm pretty sure I can outfly the dragons. If I can lure them into chasing me, you can all sneak into the lair and retrieve our friends before they get back. Are you really willing to take that chance, soldier? I am, sir. It's a very brave thing you're doing. You'll need all the help you can get. Is this the Titus? The fireproof shield? It has protected Legion heroes for generations, and today, I can't think of a worthier flank for the Titus to protect. Good luck. This is, uh... This is kind of that. I like it's. <laughs> I try to take all these stories seriously. Like it's so. How does he hold that shield?
And they die. Oh, well, he would be dead. Tried to take this seriously. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, do you hear that? Uh, I don't hear anything. Exactly. Those gosh darn flighters are gone. We can get out. Thought they were blighters. Or not. We're gonna have to see if we can get out the other way. You mean go further into the dark, spooky cave? Scootaloo, just remember the story. Gotta be brave like me and Flash Magnus, okay? Th that's adorable. I hear water! And if there's flowing water, then it might lead to the way out. Oh, okay. On three. One, two, three! Rainbows! <laughs> we must be on an acid trip. Sure are sorry that our camping trip wasn't what we hoped to be. Are you kidding? This trip is awesome! It is? We got to hear legendary stories and go on an adventure. Wait, you three want to stay? Of course we do! We could turn those trees into a nice little shelter. We can get you some big logs and branches to help build it. And I bet we can find some more berries. Come on. I can't wait to see what happens next year. Uh. And now my alarm's going off that I forgot to shut off. So I'm uh, sorry about that. Uh, so, once again, I'll do my full thoughts on this at a, another time, but, uh, yeah, that episode, like, it was decent, like, it, I, I struggled to take some of the story seriously, uh, that last one was, like, making me laugh, because, oh my gosh, like, just the way they told it, it's very hokey and very TV show-esque, uh, storytelling, so... Yeah, so, uh, thank you all, f uh, so, thank you all for watching. Please do a like, comment, and subscribe to in Time for more content. And I will see you guys in my full thoughts on the episode.